I so can't, why, I can't why? stand there and say, it's well, to be management. Okay. It's to management. Yeah. Why, yeah. why would he cover up for, if that is the reason, again, we don't know, why would he say that as a bit of a smokescreen on Varane, and yet he's more than happy to throw Jadon Sancho under the bus in regards to his training etiquettes? Mm. See? Two it's different approaches. Yeah. Well, it's a, great, it's a great point in many ways. I think that, that Ten Hag got to the end of his tether mm. with Sancho, to the extent, extent that he had tried to protect him, he'd helped him, he'd had some various issues, including some you know, mental health issues, apparently. He'd given him some time off, and, he'd come, and he still wasn't getting out of him what the player needed to do, so he tried another tactic, which was to, to actually try it's to firm, give him yeah. a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to, to say something that might provoke him. And actually, rather than provoke him in a, a good way, it provoked him in a, an even worse way. And things like that at a club like United, under Sir Alex and, and obviously a couple of other managers, it, stuff like that never rarely got out. No. You know, things happening behind the scenes and in the training ground and stuff. Now, obviously, an incident happens on the training pitch and players are putting it on the social media and this, that and the other, and it's out in the open. This, the stuff with Sancho and the manager should have been kept personal from, mm. from day one. So you don't think he should have said anything to the media in regards? Eric. Uh, yeah, Eric should have said anything to the media. Well, I, th I think the manager is entitled to say okay. what he wants, but I don't think the player should be coming out on social media and saying mm. that he's, he feels that he's not training well. I just think you're opening a can of worms. I just think keep your mouth shut, go back into the training ground, train well, prove the manager that he was wrong in saying what he said about you. There's, there's different ways of, mm. of doing it and forcing your way back into the team and going on social media, criticising the manager and... Yeah. But not, do, do not players one. not have rights to, to defend themselves if they, they do feel hard yeah, done by? But, but it's, because it's, they are it's a some, professional... If you look at Anthony, Anthony's also playing minutes and starting games and he's not exactly in the best yeah, but it's, way to form. It's professionalism yeah. as well and a bit of personal pride. You just I always felt when a manager wasn't playing or on a lack of form, I'd always try and train a little bit better than what I was doing and try and force my way back into the yeah. team. Yeah. That's exactly what Sancho yeah. needed to do. Yeah. Probably apologise to the manager, say, you know what, I'm going to prove to you that I deserve to be in your starting eleven. Not get on your phone yeah. and post in tweets. Yeah. And it's not the way to do it. To use your word, Michelle, players defending themselves, your mm. first point of defence is how you respond, in my opinion, how you train, how you behave. And if you want to take it to the second one, then that's when you go and see the manager, just you okay. and he. And, and try to sort it out. You know, you don't go to the world on social media no. about it, in my opinion. Based on the current trend and the reaction of Jadon Sancho, just a quick yes or no, has he played his last game in a Manchester United shirt? Is that for me? Yeah. Both, both of you, both <laughs> you, of you. you know, yes. Just a quick no, yes or no, I, I, but just based I, I, on looking I, I, at how the reaction is, how the fallout went. I hope not, because I no. think there's a player there. Mm. I think mm. there's certainly a player there and, and a player that the manager can get a tune out of, but... At the minute, as it stands, I think until he, if he, he apologises to the manager, and he might feel like he's not willing to do that, and if he's not willing to do that, then you know, I think it'd be very, very difficult for the manager to select him in his, yeah. in his yes, plans. Yes, no, Gary? Um, no, he's not played his last game okay. for Manchester United. I sat here a few weeks ago and we were talking about Harry Maguire, and I said that I believe Harry Maguire will play a big part in this season for Manchester United because circumstances change. And sure enough... Look at you and your predictions, Gary. And he has yeah, to be fair, you. by the way, Gary. Yeah. He has, he, I have to say, last, obviously, five, six games, he, yeah. he, he has been outstanding. And yeah. He did get a lot of criticism, yeah. which was unfair. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and, you know, if, if the player, Sancho's gripe, is with Ten Hag, yeah. you know, no, who knows, but how long is Ten Hag even going to be there for? You know, things change in football amazingly quickly.